If I would define Beethoven by only one word, it would probably be human. Psychologically, he's hugely rich. Incredibly unlike anything we've had before. There is such a, such a, you know, joy of life. I think Beethoven pushed the envelope in so many different ways, but one of the things that he did that his contemporaries in the classical period really didn't do was that he really went for extremes. As pianist, it's fantastic because he really pushed us to our limits of what we can accomplish on the piano, what the piano itself can represent. So that's a really exciting thing as a young pianist, watching this journey of a composer. Beethoven's expansion of the classical forms and his courage to work outside that quite uh, clear framework to sometimes go off into almost improvisatory territory where you don't exactly know anymore where the structure is or is going to take you. Just the way he kind of expanded the range, tonal range and the dynamic form. I mean, a lot of his pieces, uh, sonatas, are just so orchestral. Beethoven's a revolutionary partly because he was literally a revolutionary. I mean, he was committed to, in his time to all the political sort of goings on of that period. He's also revolutionary because he changed our expectations of what music could be, I think, of, of its quality of sublimity, its quality, its metaphysical quality and its political quality. And I think another way in which he was very revolutionary uh, and ahead of his time is also his disrespect for performers. He really didn't he, he, he didn't care too much when performers were complaining that his music was very difficult. And I think this is actually, um, that's, that's a very modern attitude that composers in the 20th century kind of then adopted. Beethoven is for me the most human of all composers um, with his struggles and his constant optimism and positivity. He's so optimistic. It, it's a constant progress from darkness to light, which was one of the key motives in Beethoven's life and in his music as well. Before, when I was younger, I always thought of him as being this madman, like this really uh, guy who is always like angry or struggling. But I mean, it is like true, but there's also this tenderness that's also within him. I can't think of an art that is more ambiguous than, uh, than music. You know, with music, you can, you can describe everything and nothing at the same time. But with Beethoven, there is always this drive that comes really from, from here and takes you 100% with your body, your heart, and your mind. Thank you.